Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, February the 23rd. Today is the day the Church commemorates the life of Polycarp, pastor and martyr. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Sing to the Lord, and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Give to the Lord the glory and strength. Give him the honor due his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. As a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all the day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How would I go with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God? With glad shouts and songs of praise, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of my enemy? As with a deadly wound in my bones, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Old Testament reading this morning is from Job chapter 18. Then Bildad the Shuhite answered and said, How long will you hunt for words? Consider, and then we will speak. Why are we counted as cattle? Why are we stupid in your sight? Will you tear yourself in your anger? Shall the earth be forsaken for you, or the rock be removed out of its place? Indeed, the light of the wicked is put out, and the flame of his fire does not shine. The light is dark in his tent, and his lamp above him is put out. His strong steps are shortened, and his own schemes throw him down. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walks on its mesh. A trap seizes him by the heel, a snare lays hold of him. A rope is hidden for him in the ground a trap for him in the path. Terrors frighten him on every side and chase him at his heels. His strength is famished, and calamity is ready for his stumbling. It consumes the parts of his skin, the firstborn of death consumes his limbs. He is torn from the tent in which he trusted, and is brought to the king of terrors. In his tent dwells that which is none of his. Sulphur is scattered over his habitation. His roots dry up beneath, and his branches wither above. His memory perishes from the earth, and he has no name in the street. He is thrust from light into darkness, and driven out of the world. He has no posterity or progeny among his people, and no survivor where he used to live. They are of the West. They of the West are appalled at his day, and horror seizes them of the East. Surely such are the dwellings of the unrighteous. Such is the place of him who knows not God. Our writing this morning is by Valerius Herberger from his Sunday Gospel Heart Postals, and it is about Polycarp. Polycarp means a Christian who bears much fruit. This is a true Christian name for the Lord Jesus says in John 15, 16, I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide. For them the noble seed of the Holy Gospel falls on good ground. They hear the word and keep it in a good heart, and bring forth fruits in patience. Luke 8.16 This Polycarp was a disciple and diligent hearer of John, the apostle and evangelist, and he called the heretic Marcion, who met him once, a child of the devil, without any fear. You see, no one should betray the truth with silence. When people demanded that he deny the Christian religion, he said, For eighty-six years I have served Christ, and he has never injured me. Therefore, how could I curse and blaspheme my king who has given me salvation? 
When he was ninety years old, people wanted to burn him. In the midst of the fire, he prayed, O God, the Father of your Son, Jesus Christ, through whom we have received knowledge of you, the Maker of all creation, I call upon you, I confess you, that you are true God. I glorify you because of the High Priest, your beloved Son, with the Holy Spirit. Receive me and make me a sharer in the resurrection of your saints. Amen. Now since the fire spared him, as it did for the three confessors in Daniel 3.23, he was stabbed with a sword. Three days previously, he had dreamed that his pillow was burning. From this, he quickly concluded that he would sit in the fire and would sweat. Dreams that cause us to pray and pursue Christian devotion, for which we also have clear admonitions in God's word, are not to be despised. And then about Polycarp, pastor and martyr. Born around A.D. 69, Polycarp was a central figure in the early church. A disciple of the evangelist John, he linked the first generation of believers to later Christians. After serving for many years as Bishop of Smyrna, Polycarp was arrested, tried, and executed for his faith on February 23rd in A.D. 155 or 156. An eyewitness narrative of his death, the martyrdom of Polycarp, continues to encourage believers in times of persecution. We join together in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And our Tuesday prayer focuses on uh, martyrs and those who are imprisoned for the faith. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we praise your fathomless mercy with which you take pity on sinful men. All the prophets and apostles preach this to us in your holy word. Let our hope not be put to shame when we pray to you for all who suffer at this time. For behold, the evil foe has become mighty, and the great ones of this world rule often with unrighteousness. O God, who in former times caused your saints to overcome injustice, strengthen also today all who stand in need of your help. Grant that all prisoners of war held as slaves and sacrifices of earthly wrath may return to their home. Stand by all refugees and homeless people and be their justice. Be a father to the widows and orphans with your strong protection. Go through bars and fences to those who are imprisoned for the sake of your name. Strengthen them for a good witness and let them not waver in the confession of your name. Teach us through their example and the example of so many holy martyrs to be ever watchful of the confession of your son's name. Let us not be put to shame when the evil foe lays his hand on us. But if it is your will that we be persecuted for confessing Jesus as our Lord and only Savior, then support us in your grace that we may withstand all trials and grant us peaceful rest. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the maker of heaven and earth, you give boldness to confess Jesus Christ as King and Savior, and steadfastness to die for the faith to your venerable servant, the holy and gentle Polycarp. Grant us grace to follow his example in sharing the cup of Christ's suffering, so that we may also share in his glorious resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. 
For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.